Twitch YouTubers. Welcome back to the Angry Nerd Gaming Channel. Excuse the uh, shaky video, but I had a question about the cable management system on the PC, so I thought I would give a quick little overview. Here we have our fan controllers, you can see in the back. One of the fan fans cut off. I'm gonna cut it back on. And the second one. So you can control your fans from the front, your reset button, your power button, and your USB and SS slot there. Okay, then we also have a DVD drive spot and right here pulling out this little flap allows maybe access to the next drive So we'll put that back in after we finish the rest. And there's another one right there. They're a little sticky because I colored them. They're a little sticky because I colored them black. I didn't like the white. It was, it was right there when the rest of the face of the computer was black. Okay, so let's step around to the side here. And... You have to excuse all the grunting. These are the slots for your drives, like your hard drive and stuff, and they just clip in and out. You have little spots up here for locking your stuff in there, and these are for smaller drives. Or whatever you can fit in those little three and a half inch spots. Adjust the light. I'm trying to hold the camera and adjust the light. So they didn't do a very good um, cable management when they sent it to me. That's just a little extra fan that I put in there because I had one. So I went ahead and put it in. But you got your cables coming out from your power supply. And then there are little holes all the way up through the top that you can run the cable out through to the back side. They ran this one up right behind the GeForce 780 and it came out right there it's all really tight up in there there you have the um, liquid cooled system going to the CPU the fans are up top so let's come around to the other side. Excuse the grunting. I'm too fat and too old to be climbing underneath my desk all that much. So on this side of the PC, that's the back of the motherboard. And they've run the cable right out through the main hole right there. But what they did, they bunched all of the cables up in one huge bunch which you look from the side um, really protrudes quite a bit makes it hard to get that uh, side panel back on but they could have done a better job by splitting that up and making not making it quite so um, thick 
by making two spots. But you can see right here where these holes that I was talking about on the other side, you can run cables through there. But they ran everything all together. It's all going right there. This is the back of the uh, smaller bays where you can connect this stuff up. So, anyway, this is how the inside of the Titan X100 case looks like and they did a crappy job at cable management but hey I was unwilling to do it myself so that's what I got also well, I can turn it a little bit further around I didn't show before. You can run, it has two little holes up at the top there. That little ding is me hitting the flashlight. Uh, the desk leg with the flashlight. So that's the back of it. And then there's one last little thing. And if you know what this is, you can tell me. Because I don't know what it is. This is on the top of the PC. And slide that now I did drop a well it's too much light but there's that in this little compartment I'm not exactly sure what that is maybe it's a uh, some kind of SD reader or something like that, but I have really not 100% sure what it is. It's just a little slide compartment that has that right there. So, I hope this answered your question about the cable management system. I believe that there is a this is a 100. I believe you can get a 200, which might be, it looks the same, but it may be a little bit bigger than this one. Um, so, hope this answered, and uh, thanks for watching. Nerd out.